The screwworm is a fly with a terrifying twist. Its maggots eat living flesh. There are two main species, the New World screwworm in the Americas and the Old World screwworm in Africa and Asia. The New World variety used to plague the U.S., but scientists wiped it out using a brilliant strategy, the sterile insect technique. They released millions of sterilized male flies, which mated but produced no offspring. Over time, wild populations collapsed. Here's the danger. When screwworm flies lay eggs in a wound or even in the nose or mouth, the larvae hatch and begin eating tissue alive. This causes massive wounds, infections, and can kill livestock, wildlife, and sometimes even humans. The economic impact is huge. Sick animals, lost livestock, and expensive control programs. Treatment means cleaning wounds and using insect-killing chemicals. But large-scale control depends on SIT and constant surveillance with traps. And here's the catch. Screwworms are already showing resistance to some insecticides. Scientists warn the threat isn't over. New models show that Texas and Florida are at high risk for a comeback if screwworms spread from Central America or the Caribbean. If they return, rapid quarantine and sterile fly releases will be critical to stop them. The bottom line? The screwworm may be tiny, but left unchecked, it's one of the most destructive parasites on Earth.